to your right chair could be called Amitibi Ube. And we arrived into the obscure territory. These movies now on will literally be made by some zero name studios who aren't even that important that one, two, three movies which no longer seems to exist, but something similar to the, at least would steal their stuff. So if the creators don't upload it to let's say YouTube, then your only source will be Tubi if you are lucky or some physical disc for possibly extraordinary prices especially as these sell in low volume so the makers put it on blu-ray to have a bigger profit amount from the same profit percentage also if you noticed i switched around the release orders compared to my review orders trying to give a bit of thematics to not drive you down too much this also means you will be lucky if these have anything at all to do with the amityville horror i've seen such garbage production when i was binging werewolf movies so that is the point where the majority of the subgenre belongs nowadays too. The following footage will not make sense about trust issues with Hollywood and the film industry in general. Our definitely not Uber driver is live streaming his driving. I think that is illegal. And no one will be seated during the Uber drive. You don't mind me asking? Um, well, actually, I'm out of jail. Oh, okay. No, my shitty ex in law's cops are my friend. I'm pulling out. Oh, man, that's not cool. Yeah. Well, hopefully, you're, uh, going to make it better. That's why he's an ex. Yeah, that's, they call him exes for a reason. No. Well, um, how was jail? Yeah, I can relate to that. I had a few uh, run-ins with the law myself, but uh, you're not some kind of creep, are you? No, 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 no. No, I'm not a creep. I'm not a creep. All right. I have to ask. Yeah, you can't be too careful nowadays. There's a lot of crazy people out there. All right. So, um, what is going on? I don't want to be weird, but what's going on with the camera? Oh, that's uh. Yeah, that's just for uh, security purposes, so they can know what's going on inside the car. You know, okay. no funny business. I've never really had that in a ride share before, but whatever, um, I'm open. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's for us, it's for security reasons, it's for you and us at the same time. Um, I don't know, I haven't been in this area too long, maybe. Like I have that face yeah, when people say. It happens. Well, <laughs> I was about to skip ahead when I noticed with the conversation sound cone there is a terminal sleep initiated message on the screen. Someone is hacking minds? 
the old woman wants the driver to fuck her, who instead strangles her. Then calls some Frank, who is killed by a clone, who teleports away with the body. Frank called Kelly in between, who doesn't notice this ghost. By the way, if these all found footage, who handles the cameras? Also, Kelly is with the clone and someone else teleports in. I don't fucking care. At this point, some news person say, we are switching stories, so this is some kind of anthology. And don't expect the news people marking the splicing in the future either. And that was our first story. It made no sense and had nothing to do at all with Amityville, so fuck you. The next short has some Satanist sacrificing a teenager. Boo -hoo. At uh, 2610, this segment ends without warning or conclusion, and the next starts. There was a transition effect, but the editor inserted it at 2640, because these people are that incompetent. I try harder, and I don't even try. This is another Uber driver. This one beats his passenger to death. At least the transition effect is properly placed at the end of it. An advertisement follows. Then another clone is killing another person, because why not? Then some suits are shooting some stoned live streamers, because... Then two brother and their father go to the Red Knight grave, then we get a scream face. Then two adult is doing the Red Knight challenge, but that segment wasn't even finished. As we cut to the editing room of this movie's director, and I use the term movie in the very broad sense. This whole thing is certainly a footage, so fuck you Jack Hunter, fuck you. You aren't even touch sheets. His movies at least had a story on paper. Surprisingly, after Jack's narcissist monologuing, we cut back to the edited sequence, you know, the two guys going doing the Red Knight challenge, where these morons are playing a version of Bloody Mary. You know, that Red Knight challenge. These pieces of shit couldn't even afford to go to a fucking cemetery and put on a robe they were talking about. It's just them saying the thing in the car and dying. Then we have another self-identification from Jack. Then we get the another Uber. This time a pair of drivers with one car. Yes, they are killing the customer. Two doesn't seem like a sustainable business model to me, but what do I know? This channel isn't even monetized. After that, we get 20 minutes self-advertising of the other installments of the paranoia tapes, because this seems to be another of those. Someone really finds this and those terrifying? I find this a bore. Because, you know, without a story, the shock factor these were obviously made for is like non-existent or expire after the, like the second. Short film, so it's really just 